Hello guys, it's Megan Graham and I'm on for one of my lives, which I haven't really done a lot of lately. And um, I wanted to come on today. One, I'm always grooming my dogs because it is a daily activity. So Alfie looks like a disaster right now because I went hiking yesterday and I got a little hair on my computer. I was a little bit too tired to groom him yesterday. So I'm going to be grooming him today instead. So I decided to come on today and talk about how I holistically take care of my dogs. Um, I don't go into it too, too much why I became so passionate about holistic health for my dogs. But um, the reason that it happened is that I actually had another dog before my three Yorkies. And that dog's name was Teddy. He was my sole dog, my dog of a lifetime. Um, I will never be able to replace Teddy. And Teddy actually suffered from an autoimmune disease. So his autoimmune disease was GME. And GME, I can't even pronounce the entire name, but when it happens, it looks a lot like encephalitis. So Teddy was like the most beloved, sweet, amazing little dog. And what happened is he started staggering a little bit, slowing down a lot. He had some fevers. Um, he looked really off. And at first I didn't really know because I never had a dog get sick. And so I thought he was just aging, but I wound up taking him to the vet and they said, this is actually an emergency. He needs to see a neurologist today. Um, so I went to an emergency vet. They did an MRI. They did a brain scan and um, they also did Oh my gosh, there were two really expensive things that they did the same day. I wish I could remember the other thing. And what they discovered was that he had lesions in his brain. So basically when you looked at imaging of his brain, there were holes. Um, and so he was getting brain damage and they had to figure out why he was getting brain damage. Basically, Teddy had this odd autoimmune disease and um, I was able, so the first vet visit, the emergency vet visit, I want to say cost about $20,000 for two days of him being in the hospital. And I called and spoke to my show breeder that has given me all my dogs. And she was so nice. She actually, her best friend had bred Teddy and she just was watching him. So when I bought him, he wasn't bred by her, but she said, you know, it sounds like GME. So I found the best GME doctor in the country, his name, he's retired now, sadly, but his protocol is still really famous for helping these dogs. His name was Dr. Sisson. And I found Dr. Sisson and the hospital said, Dr. Sisson can't see you for three weeks. So I stalked Dr. Sisson. I found his personal email. Um, I wrote him and I said, this is my best friend and he is not walking right now. He is falling over um, and he's so sick and I just need to do something for him. So I'm gonna come to the animal hospital um, and I'm going to sit there all week long until you can see me. I'll bring a little like thermos. I'll bring a lunch, but please just see my best friend for five minutes. I know you can save him. And Dr. Sisson wrote back to me and said, you know, just, so you know, I have to see your dog. If you come through emergency, I have to see your dog. And which was so nice of him. So I brought Teddy in and I called ahead of time and said, my dog isn't, I took him out of the other hospital because they weren't helping him. And I went to Angel Memorial, which is a pretty famous hospital in Boston. So Dr. Sisson, I called and said, he's not walking, please be ready for him. My dog needs emergency medical care. And they took him away. I didn't expect to see him again. He was so sick. Um, he just wasn't functioning. And I left him and I was really cheerful when I left him because I didn't want him to see me crying. I wanted, you know, him, if it was his last thing that he saw of me, I wanted him to see me smiling and things like that. So I dropped him off and that night, sorry to cry, but that night Dr. Sisson called me and he said, those test results from the other hospital were really incomplete, but I know he has GME, so I am going to start treating him aggressively. I expect him to be walking tomorrow, and I expect his walking to improve within the next few days. He said, I've already started giving him um, aggressive steroids, and I can't remember if he also gave him chemotherapy immediately or not. I think it was aggressive steroids that first brought him out of it and a slight dose of chemotherapy monthly to keep him in remission. And I remember this vet was so intense. I was like, Dr. Sisson, you are my hero. I cannot even tell you how much I appreciate. And he clicked the phone and he was gone. Like, and it's not that he was mean. It was just all he cared about was helping your dog. 
He wasn't a social person. And so that was the care that I got. So by the next day, sure enough, Dr. Sisson didn't lie. I picked up Teddy and he was walking. His walking wasn't great, but he was walking and he was able to stand to go to the bathroom. And um, over the course of the next few days, his walking got better and better. I will say Teddy was never the same. He looked a little vacant and he was still a really sweet dog, but I just remember he always looked a little spacey because he had brain damage and that part of it couldn't quite be undone. You find new neural pathways, but you know, you couldn't quite undo everything that happened. Um, I'm just going to stop and say hi really, really quickly. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Valerie, thank you. Tiffany, it's so nice to see you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Darlene says your Yorkie is growing really well. That is so amazing. Guys, check the links below because I'm putting a lot of my holistic health information below just so you have it. I usually put the links in my videos, but I always forget to tell everybody. Um, Vanessa, I'm so glad that you caught me as well. Um, Valerie, it was so sad about Teddy. He was truly the very best dog that I've ever, I mean, I love my dogs and I'm not saying, I mean, like this little guy is such a little angel, but Teddy was truly, if I had a dog of a lifetime, Teddy was my dog of a lifetime. He was so cute. He would pose for pictures. Um, he just was really, really special. But so my passion for holistic dog health actually started because of Teddy. I knew when this happened to Teddy, I knew absolutely. Um, no, this is Alfie that I just held up, Isabella. Um, and thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Um, so Teddy was just like something, something special. And I knew nothing about holistic health for myself or for my dogs when this happened to Teddy. And so with Teddy, he got the treatment. So I went to see Dr. Sisson. He, I would always have steroids in my purse in case Teddy was having any kind of relapse, which didn't happen a lot, but I always just had steroids just in case because they were very helpful. And I actually had to learn how to give Teddy chemotherapy injections, um, which I didn't think I could do because I am so incredibly afraid of needles, but I just practiced gratefulness and said, you know, even though I pass out, usually when I see needles, I said, I'm going to think of this as an opportunity that my dog is still alive and that I can give him the care that he needs through giving him chemo. And if you guys aren't familiar with chemotherapy for autoimmune diseases, the reason that I needed to give Teddy chemo is that his immune system had started to attack him and it was attacking his brain and I believe his spinal cord as well and creating lesions. And so what the chemo did is the chemo would suppress his immune system a little bit so that it could not continue to attack him. He also was never allowed to get another vaccine as well because for most um, neurologists that deal with GME with this this issue, they usually recommend that you never vaccinate your dog again. And so I don't talk about a lot of this and I'm not telling anybody that they should not vaccinate their dog or anything like that. But here's the little issue that some people may not know with Yorkies as opposed to other dogs. When a Yorkie gets a, um, a vaccination, they're getting exactly the same dose as a huge dog. So for whatever reason, and this is something that I would really like to see changed, I still would like vaccinations to be available for Yorkies, but why isn't the dose adjusted for the size of the dog? Because if your dog is getting over vaccinated, which let's say your dog is getting a dose that's 25 times what it needs, you can see how that could be a problem over time. Um, and so I don't think with Teddy that it was one single thing and I still continue to bring my dogs to the vet and I continue to get them vaccinated, but I never get more than one shot in one day. So everything is always separated. They never get three things because that can really fire up your immune system and create some problems. Guys, if you haven't done so, please go ahead, hit the like button. It makes such a big difference for my channel. If you have not subscribed and you would like to subscribe, do that as well. It makes such a big difference. So, okay, so that was one issue. I started learning a little bit more about holistic things. And actually, I just remembered there is one link that I forgot to put um, 
in the bottom of my video that I'm going to be including as well. But so a few days before Teddy got really, really sick and stopped being able to walk, he got his, um, how do I say it? His flea and tick treatment, which was a liquid, which I put onto his back. And I will say, I distinctly remember when I broke open that little packet that had the liquid and I went to put it on his back, he hid from me. And I just remember saying, Teddy, it's fine. It's just wet. It's not going to be, it's, it's no big deal. It's just for fleas and ticks. So I put it on his back and it was definitely within a day that he started having a severe reaction. So I'm not telling you what you should do with fleas and ticks, but what I will tell you now is that I do not put any traditional flea and tick medicine on my dogs. If you start to read about it, most of those medicines are neurotoxins. So if it's killing the fleas and ticks and you're putting it on your dog's back, they're absorbing it transdermally and your dog is absorbing a flea and tick medicine that's a neurotoxin into its body. Like I used to put it right here behind his neck. So now what I do is I use a holistic product, which I'm going to link. It's also a, I think it's Dr. Dobius. That's how you say it. I use Dr. Dobius's product. I also sometimes spray my dogs with Wonderside when I'm going out. Um, but the information is starting to come out on some of these flea and tick products. And guys, I'm not judging you. If this is something that you use on your pets, I'm certainly not judging you. I use this product on a lot of my dogs and I didn't really think it was an issue but I think that it added up. I think it was the collective issue of perhaps being over-vaccinated, um, also having flea and tick medicine put onto, you know, which is neurotoxin onto my dog's back. And then, so here's the other issue. Your pets walk outside and a lot of people are spraying pesticides. There's a lot of different stuff that you might find on the sidewalk or in a park. And so your dogs are walking on those things and then they are going into their body. We wear shoes, so we have things that protect us a little bit more, but our dogs do not have those things. Um, so with Teddy, I started learning a lot of things, and I learned a lot of things about what I should avoid with Teddy, and so what I also wanted to avoid with my other dogs. Um, so one of the things that I'm still on a bunch of GME boards where people talk about the autoimmune diseases that their dogs have, or they talk about the fact that they're you know, licking their paws constantly. They have tons of goop in their eyes. Um, maybe they're scratching all the time or they seem really lethargic. And I always want to tell people about the things that I've discovered since then that made a big difference in my life. So one of the things that I think a lot of people think isn't very exciting or that they don't need, um, I linked it below, but it's a product called Polypet. And Polypet is actually a detox Oh, sorry for my phone noises. Polypet is actually a detox for your pets. And it's something that I do for my pets. It's a detox and also something else that helps to stimulate energy production um, through ATP. And if you guys don't know, ATP is very important for your cells, for your mitochondrial function. And we need to support that sometimes for our energy and our well being. Um, and so I give my dogs this product every single day because. And I'm not trying to scare anyone, but we do live in a world where there's a lot of stuff going on. So there's maybe the, um, I think they're called adjuvants that are left over from vaccines. Maybe there's toxins from pesticides or herbicides or things that they're stepping on. And so I put these products into my dog's food to help to just remove some of the things that I believe caused inflammation in Teddy. Obviously, there's no guarantee if you use products that it's going to work for you perfectly or that your dog isn't going to get sick. But I think that there's enough stuff that pets are exposed to that sometimes they need a little bit of help to get that stuff out and to keep them healthier. So I did a few different things. One thing that I wish more than anything is that I had this product when Teddy was sick um, because what I didn't understand is it was great. I think seeing a neurologist and having that traditional care and having an internist to monitor all of his levels was really important. So I'm never saying that I don't take care of my dogs in the traditional sense, but I think that there are complementary things that people can do to help kind of, if everybody has a bucket of toxins, including animals, you just want to be emptying out that bucket so that you have the least inflammation that you can have, the least amount of inflammation for you and your pet 
means the most health, the most health, the most beauty, the best growing hair, the happiest pet and things like that. So polypet was a really big thing that I wish that I knew about. The other thing that I wound up doing and learning about that I do for all of my animals is I give them filtered water because I don't want to be giving them a lot of contaminants in their water. Um, I use an air filter. I mop with all organic products so that my pets are not getting exposed to a lot of toxins when they're walking because, again, they're licking their paws. So if you put fragrance on the ground, your pet is going to be absorbing that. I also do not use scented products. I don't use Glade plugins or scented candles around my dogs. Um, those are not healthy for people or for pets. Um, so those are really some of my biggest things. I also give them Dr. Dobius's vitamins and minerals because if your pet's minerals and vitamins are low in their body, they're more likely to store other things that they shouldn't have, such as toxins um, and, and the like. So although I'm not a doctor, these are the different things that I do for my pets, as well as to brush them daily, to love them, and to give them plenty of exercise so that their bodies are working as well as possible. Um, another thing that I talk about all the time and I link to is true, uh, Trupanion, which is my pet insurance. Because at the end of the day, if your pet has something wrong with you it, or something wrong with it, it's so expensive and you're so happy for that pet insurance. So I had gotten Teddy's pet insurance only about, I think like 30, no, it was six months before he got sick. And I cannot imagine what it would have been like if, if I didn't have that. Um, Darlene said, thank you for your kindness. Of course, sorry about your dog, Teddy. Thank you. And Jackie said, my heart goes out to you. Thank you so much. I'm not trying to make you guys sad um, telling you about Teddy either. I just feel like Teddy, um, one thing that I can do to honor Teddy is to hopefully pass this information along to other people that it's really easy to detox and boost your pet's health with a few products. And I mean, I bought a set and I use it very, very sparingly because I think it's good to go slowly. So it's not a big investment, but to me, it makes a huge difference in my pet's health. And I just wish that I could have done it with Teddy, which is why I like to share it with other people. Hello, Mariana. It's nice to see you. Tiffany says she tighter tests her palm and will never again use traditional flea and take medicine or over vaccinate my dog or future dogs. Yes. So Tiffany, I actually um, saw a holistic vet before I started traveling because Lola's health is not that good. And I had titers done and she agreed that Lola had enough of the rabies vaccine that she did not want her to get it again. The other, um, the other dogs did get the rabies vaccine. Um, they're a lot stronger and their health is better, but it was really a personal thing about whether they needed different things. And for many of them, they still had the antibodies um, I think that's how the titer tests work. So they didn't need to get all of those things. And I think it made a huge difference. Um, Mariana says, I have been giving my dog Brevecto, which is a flea and tick medication that they eat, but my dog still got Lyme disease. That's the funny thing too about Lyme and all of those different things that they can definitely still get it. So not telling anybody what to do. This is just my personal beliefs. And again, I am not judging you guys at all. I'm not telling you, you shouldn't do these things if you don't want to. I would never give those things to my dog again. They Teddy did have Lyme disease as well, and it didn't stop him from getting it either. So I was giving him the neurotoxin, and he got Lyme disease anyway, and then he had to be treated for that. So it's really, it's kind of an interesting thing. Vanessa says, I'm preparing for my first Yorkie in February, and I'm so very excited. Is there a crate size you recommend? Um, I don't really recommend a crate size. You know, what I had is if you look it up, I had something called a puppy apartment for my dogs and a puppy apartment. Um, I, I can't remember. It's not available on Amazon or anything like that, but it's like a big cage that's divided in half and one half has a bed and the other half has a potty pad. So it really helps with their house training because they can go through the door, go on the potty pad and then go back to their bed. And it really helps to make it so that they don't have accidents and they feel really happy. Um, I used that for all of my dogs and I loved it. And they've got some really pretty covers for them as well. Um, oh my goodness, his face is such a mess because I did not brush him yesterday. So those are the really big things that I learned, but you know, it's so interesting. I feel like a lot of times um, all of the functional sort of like underneath health stuff 
doesn't seem that important until you have a health problem. And if there's anything that I wish that I had done, it's just to have done that stuff sooner. I don't know what would have happened if I had done that detox, but also still given the flea medicine, would it have made him better? I have no way of knowing, but I did all of the best medical in interventions after he was sick. I just didn't know that I also could have worked to take some stuff out of his body. Um, and for those of you guys that don't know, I also have an autoimmune condition, which was, I'll say it was caused by mold, but you know, I think it's never one thing. So it could have been several different things that caused it. Um, and certain things make it a lot worse, like chemical exposures definitely make it a lot worse. Um, I can't really be around artificial fragrance. I don't feel good when I'm around that. So I've learned a lot about the fact that if I react to something, I never react to anything that's good for anyone else. So I might react faster, but it's taught me a lot about what I would have around my dogs. And it's taught me a lot about even like what's healthy for pregnant women or just what, what increases your health or what decreases your health, because our health is kind of like a bank account and either we're putting a deposit into our account or we're taking money out. And I'm always trying to get my bank balance of my health a little bit higher. And I do exactly the same thing with my puppies. So that is the story of why it became so important to me. Um, because if I had known it, I think it would have made a big difference with Teddy. And it's funny because when I go on these GME boards, I see people and they're all doing just what I did. And that is that they're giving the chemo, they're giving the steroids and they're doing all the right stuff, but they don't know that there's a complementary holistic part that could also help their pet's health. So I hope this was interesting for you guys. Um, once I started treating Poppy with it, I noticed that she had a lot more energy. She was a lot happier and she stopped scratching and Lola's eyes stopped being as gummy as they were before. So basically their inflammation went down quite a bit, which was awesome. So it was so nice to chat with you guys today. I'm actually probably going to put together a little video of this for people that didn't catch my live about why I'm so passionate about this. Um, a lot of times it's interesting a lot of times I feel like I don't want to talk too much about products, but then if it's a product that I feel changed my pet's health, it's so important to get it out there because if I don't talk about it, how will people know? So definitely check out the links in my, um, in my description, guys. Usually if I love a product, I contact the company and I'll actually ask them if they can give me an ambassador code. Um, so if you guys are wondering where those codes come from, it is because I contact the companies and I just say, this is something that I recommend all the time. Can I have a discount code? Um, and also, can I make a commission if people buy something that I recommend? I get about 100 emails a month from different people and places that want me to talk about their products. And I actually never talk about any of those products. I am interested only in the stuff that I use that I like, not in using my channel or my name or my dog's faces to, to sell something. So if you guys ever hear me talking about something, it's because I'm so passionate about it. So for instance, I'm in Aspen, Colorado right now, and I went to go see a functional doctor, which is kind of, it's not a holistic doctor. It's just a doctor that kind of gets a little bit deeper and tries to untangle some of the issues that you're having. And he told me about toxicity that his cat had had. And I told him about the product and just said, you know, this is something and I'm not saying how people should treat their pets and things like that, because again, I'm not a vet, I'm not a doctor, but I did tell him it's a great thing to have on hand if you feel like your pet is experiencing toxicity again. I think he said, I forget what chemical his cat had been exposed to, may not have solved the problem, but it does help to pull some things out and increase health to a point. Hello there, how are you? Thank you for saying hi. And Valerie says, my Yorkie Twinkie had to be put down this past May. I'm so sorry. Since she had heart and kidney failure at 16 years old, she was the best dog I ever had. Oh, I'm so sorry. 16 still is not old enough. I totally can appreciate that. Um, and this is not medical advice, just so you know, but there is an interesting thing as well with, so that product is activated carbon and I have had some kidney issues in the past because of my mold exposure and things like that. 
And I've read different articles. You can Google it yourself. I usually Google stuff on um, the search engine that has the word duck in it because it gives me better results. They're not quite as um, locked up, if you will. Um, but if you search kidney and either active, it's usually will come up under activated charcoal. Another thing that Teddy had issues with was um, he had kidney failure as well. And from what I have read, sometimes as a last resort, as opposed to dialysis, certain things can benefit from activated charcoal because it actually helps to clean the blood. So I take a human version of a product. Um, I'll, I'll put the link down there too, but I take a product called Micro Formulas and I think it's called Biotox Binder. And that actually helps to just move toxins out of your blood, out of your body. Um, and the dog version is a black powder and that also does a similar thing. So um, obviously like it might be something for you in the future, Valerie, I love the product. My only thing is I don't go by what the company says on the, the packaging and I think they're great, but slow and steady wins race. So a teeny tiny amount is always good to see. Um, in my experience as a human, the sicker you are, the slower you have to go for me personally. So I think that's true for pets too, that if they're really not feeling well, one, always check with the vet, but also if you're going to do something, do a teeny tiny, tiny bit in the beginning. Um, TJ says, hi, Megan, I've bought almost everything through all your links for my little Yorkie puppies. Oh, thank you. So oh, Morky puppies. I'm sorry, Kobe. And I tell you, I watch you faithfully to know what to do with my dog and he loves you too. TJ, that is like, that's the nicest thing ever. Thank you so much. And that's like, what I always really want to stress with you guys, because I always have a complex about talking about too many products because I'm never selling you anything and I'm never telling you about anything that didn't change my life. Um, because it's, I, I don't know how to say it. My channel obviously has so many different topics because as you guys can see, there's been like life has been a lot lately. Um, but I think that these tools that I've gotten have been really awesome. And so I always want to share them in hopes that they will make a difference in someone else's life. Um, and I'm just kind of getting over that now. So I've, I've, you know, I don't know how to say it. Someone, I won't say who it was, but someone tried to say that I do, like I got sick for attention and I do everything for attention and to sell products. And I was like, you would have to be a sick person to get sick for attention. I mean, I don't know if it happens, but it certainly wasn't me. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm getting a lot better. Like my face just looks better and my energy looks better. And I can come on here and chat with you guys with energy and not be like, I don't know how to say it, faking the energy, but just having true energy where I really feel good and I enjoy talking to people um, and, and stuff like that. So if I do share something, it's because I'm passionate about it. And I think with health stuff, a lot of times, you know, we sort of like wait until we feel like we really have to have it. And what I have learned, I don't know what I did with my elastics, guys. Sorry about this. I'm, I'm standing up for one second while I locate what I did with my little bag of elastics. Oh, I see. <laughs> I never had them. Here they are. Um, so I think that taking care of your wellness and taking care of your health is like drinking water. You should do it before you feel like you need it. Um, so not trying to scare anybody about taking their dogs to the vets. I totally do that. I, I gave most of my dogs their vaccines, but I am going to also include a link in my description. So I'll put it down after I stop this video. And I'm just going to also include the holistic kind of flea and tick medication that I use. You do have to use it daily. So just know it is a little bit more work. It's not, I think the other one was maybe once a month and this one, it's not like you just apply it and forget it. Um, but I feel like I would rather with my animals have a lower toxic load because I have seen, um, unfortunately what exposure to toxins caused in my health, which thank God is, or excuse me for saying thank God, but you know, thank goodness is finally starting to, um, correct in my body. Um, but it was a long, long haul. Um, and so, yeah, that's why I'm so passionate about it. Guys, I always love coming on to talk to you here. And also just wanted to let you guys know, we have been in Aspen, Colorado, um, doing some business here. We're staying in my friend's guest house and we're going back to traveling really soon in our RV. 
Um, but we've been having so much fun. The puppies love Aspen, Colorado, and we've been going on lots and lots of walks and having so much fun. Um, and it's been nice to have a little stop in a house, um, but it will also be nice to get back on the road and see, um, you know, what is, what is going on. Um, Mariana says, could you please link Dr. Dobius's flea and tick spray because I cannot find it on Amazon. Yes, I will link that right after. I'm actually going to contact their company. Look at how cute he is. I'm actually going to contact their company as well and ask them if I can get a um, ambassador link for their product because I really love it. So guys, it was so nice to hop on here. Sorry that I always talk so much. Um, I'm going to try to do some more little kind of holistic lives as well. Just talking about what I do for my pets. I know it's a little bit different than what most people probably do, but if I could go back in time, I would have done things differently for Teddy as well. So I will put that link in right after I post this. Guys, thank you so much. If you've not already liked this video, I would love it if you could like it. Um, I know it just takes a second to hit that button. If you do like it, makes a huge difference for my YouTube. And also, if you're not following me on YouTube, please consider to do so. I talk about a lot of different stuff, but I think hopefully it's pretty helpful in a lot of different ways. So guys, it was so great to see you. Thank you so much and have an awesome, awesome day. Stay healthy and stay beautiful. Bye guys.